I'm just curious. I know when, when anyone, any preacher in America probably preaches on this topic, there's people in the pew that have, have their own narrative with this, uh, shame and regret and guilt. So I'm just wondering how you would come alongside someone who hears what you just said, feels conviction. So, so I have it in my past um, from a, a relationship prior to serving God while I was in college. Um, and it's something that doesn't leave easily. Um, and, and what we've done and what we've tried to do uh, for all people, uh, but we'll relate it specifically to this issue, is create a forum where, where they can speak about it shame-free. Uh, because there's no shame in redemption. Uh, and, and there is no guilt in life, no fear in death. This is the power of Christ in me. And, and so we try to create that environment where they can actually experience those words. And we have women in our church uh, who have had abortions, some of them multiple abortions. We've had, we have men in our church, uh, including Lecrae, who, who tells his own narrative, uh, who have encouraged those abortions, paid for those abortions. And being able to speak about the value of human life without condemning someone uh, for having done that and offering them the grace of gospel forgiveness is an absolute priority. And so between the pulpit, which you said you heard some of the sermon, we, we went to great lengths even then. Hey, we're here for you. Let us walk with you. Uh, our elders will be there. We'll have a couple women there who have experienced this. Uh, let us get you in a care group and in a community to help you process what has taken place so that you can walk in this newness uh, that you have been granted in Christ Jesus, uh, even if you have done this. Uh, and so w with every person who, who is overcoming uh, some decision where they chose to worship their feelings themselves over God, mm -hmm. we just try to create an environment where truth is preached firmly. Uh, and, and grace is offered freely uh, so that those th two things meet as they did in Jesus and they can deal with the conviction and they should of what's been done, uh, but they can also walk in the freedom of the fact that that's been laid on Jesus' back and they don't have to continue to carry that burden around.